What's up guys, Sean here, Shock Surplus, founder here, Shock Surplus. Today we got unboxing for you on some Icon coilovers for the Ford Bronco. We actually got the Bronco right behind me here. This is Bowman's. <laughs> and we've been installing a bunch of different products on this truck. And next up are the Icon 2.5 inch coilovers. So we're gonna dive into them right now. We got soy bar relocation brackets. Oh, you got the beefy coilovers here for the front. So what do you guys get with the, the purchase with the coilovers? It's nothing really too fancy. You got your hardware, your sway bar relocation brackets, and then of course the fully assembled shock towers here. If you guys aren't too familiar with what you can expect out of these coilovers on the Bronco, these will give you three to four inches of lift on non-Sasquatch models, and then two to three inches of lift on the Sasquatch models. And that's because Sasquatch models come uh, an inch over factory. So through the threaded coil spring collar up here you can preload the spring to get all your desired lift and usually these coilovers from Icon and other brands come at about two inches uh, of lift from factory. We will have to see where these land on this and then make adjustments probably while they're on their vehicle. So we'll also show you that either in this video or, or in the actual Icon review. So nothing fancy here. Rear coilovers look almost nearly identical except for the lower mount here. So very beefy bottom mounts with uh, some spherical bearings here. So all extremely top-notch product, aluminum components all throughout. These are a steel body uh, coilover, so that's uh, pros and cons there. Pros being being able to adjust the height of the of the shock while on the vehicle through just the adjustable collar here. So the cons of a steel body are usually maybe heat dissipation versus an aluminum body, but considering no one's really making an aluminum body, shock for the Bronco. It's kind of a non-factor. Heat dissipation, is that a factor for most drivers at this level of shock? Not really. These shocks can withstand severe abuse, probably up to three to 400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And through all of our testing, we can barely get shocks up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit in the Johnson Valley Desert in 100 degree heat. Um, so shock fade, is that really an issue to worry about based on body type? Not too much. Before we close out, Icon does have numerous versions of this coilover. So they also have a remote reservoir version and they also have an electronic CDEV version. And then they also have a CDCV version. So it might be dizzying to see 10 different stages of kits on the Bronco, but the base coilovers are really this product right here, this shock right here. And then all the additional features uh, uh, kind of stem from this base level part. So if you guys have any questions, hit us up for for sure in the comments support at shocksurplus.com and if you'd like to see also how it compares to their exp 2.5 inch shock we're going to be able to get into that review as well because we've ran these already and we're going to kind of directly stack up their aluminum body 2.5 exp series to the performance of their 2.5 full coilover as well so we'll have all of that ready for you guys in the next video so now we're going to get these shocks on the bronco in the front and the rear and hit the trail, hit the road. Right, guys the icon 2.5 inch coilovers are now on the bronco so we're going to take it through the dirt we're expected to be able to hit up to speeds of 40 50 60 70 miles an hour pretty easily in this setup we're not going to be doing whoops but the terrain is going to get pretty gnarly and we have 
high expectations out of the Icon product based on all of our prior experiences and the Tacoma and the Forerunner. We're gonna see how it feels in the butt dyno and we're gonna be bringing that review to you extremely soon. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys on the trail.